Gold prices have been falling after the Federal Reserve's September 20th policy decision, where they telegraphed holding rates higher for longer. The yield of the U.S. 10-year surged above 4.6% to the highest level since October 2007. This has pressured gold to break below the monumental 1900 mark for the first time since March. Is there any reason to believe gold can recover in quarter four, or is the stage set for a poor finish to 2023? Only time will tell, but here are the three things I'm watching. First, the CME Fed Watch tool is currently signaling a 4% probability they hike 50 basis points before year end. While this equates to a higher likelihood of the Fed continuing to pause rate increases, the market is still pricing in a chance otherwise. Also, given historical trends, it's worth noting that the Fed usually cuts rates within seven to nine months after an ongoing pause. With that time frame in mind, the Fed Watch tool currently shows that the market expects rates to remain at five and a quarter to five and a half percent in May to 2024. So only time will tell if we are now indeed in a pause cycle, with a possible cut emerging around May. If we were to see a rate cut by the Fed in May, it could be supportive of gold's fundamental case. Next, what is happening with inflation? Whereas a rise in inflation could prove to be a headwind to gold, flatlining inflation could provide a tailwind. While CME Group's WTI crude oil contract has surged by as much as 22% over the last month, the gas and refined products have been much more contained. Furthermore, the Cleveland Fed's inflation nowcast is not forecasting an abnormal rise in month-over-month -month inflation for September. Lastly, the first couple of weeks of October have been historically a favorable period for gold. Treasury yields were on a similarly relentless rise in 2018 and 2022, but October in those years paved the way for a bottoming process in gold. Also, a strong U.S. dollar in quarter three has been a direct headwind to gold, but seasonally the U.S. dollar historically weakens at the onset of quarter four. While these three narratives are on top of my list, we could see others emerge. This is an ever-evolving macro environment that will certainly bring an exciting and opportunistic fourth quarter.